I'm at the expressway that connects Bengaluru and Mysuru in just 75 to 90 minutes. The 118 km expressway is finally operational after Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently inaugurated on March 12. There is no doubt that the expressway cuts down the travel time between the two cities, but from high toll prices to accessibility issues, people have their issues. The foundation store for the Bengaluru Mysuru Expressway was laid in 2018 and it took almost five years for operations to start. The expressway was constructed by National Highway Authority of India at a cost of 8,480 crores and was executed by Dilip Biltcon Limited. This ambitious project certainly has its share of benefits, but is it really commuter friendly? The NHAI started toll collection on the Bengaluru Nidagata section of the expressway on March 14th. Toll rate for a single journey on this section ranges from 135 rupees to 880 rupees depending on the category of the vehicle. Toll prices on national highways range between 1 rupees to 1.5 rupees per kilometer, but on Bengaluru Mysuru expressway, commuters are being charged 2.5 rupees. How fair is it to collect the toll when the highway completion work is still under progress? The expressway has two phases. Phase 1 between Bengaluru and Nidagatta is 58 km long. Phase 2 between Nidagatta and Mysuru is 61 km. The first phase of the work up to Nidagatta in Madhur Taluk is 95% complete and 20% of the work from Nidagatta to Manipal Hospital Junction in Mysore is still pending. Another major problem on this expressway currently is the lack of service roads. A two-lane service road is still being constructed on both sides of the expressway. The deadline for this is unknown. By chance, two-wheeler puncher Faced with public anger, this is what an NHAI official said. Not just service roads. If a vehicle breaks down in the middle of the highway, there is no way to get it fixed immediately. The lack of diversions makes it difficult for commuters during emergency situations. Facilities like toilets, hotels, hospitals are still not ready. A rest area between Ramanagara and Channapatna is likely to be built, but the work is yet to begin. The entry exit gates by nearby places like Bidadi, Ramanagara, Channapatna, Madhuru, Mandya, and Chirangpatna have not yet been constructed. Since September 2022, over 80 persons have lost their lives while hundreds have been injured in 335 reported mishaps on the expressway.
The speed limit of 120 to 140 km per hour is said to be the main reason for accidents. Surprisingly, the 118 km highway has no street lights yet. Reports claim artificial intelligence cameras for road surveillance are being installed on the highway, but the patrol system is still not in place. Just three days after the inauguration, a portion of the expressway was damaged near Birdi. Justifying this, BJP leader Pratap Simha said it was a minor repair work on expansion joint. However, while tweeting this, he posted a representational image which sparked controversy later. The least this 8.4 crore project can provide its commuters is a safe driving experience. Here's hoping the hurriedly inaugurated highway will be commuter-friendly very soon. With camera person Prashant Sanakha Deshpande for Deccan Herald.